हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज रोटेशनल सिमेट्री ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 14.2 नाउ व्हाट इज रोटेशनल सिमेट्री लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डेफिनेशन अ फिगर इज सेड टू हैव रोटेशनल सिमेट्री इफ ऑन बीइंग रोटेटेड अबाउट अ फिक्स्ड पॉइंट बाय अ सर्टेन एंगल द फिगर लुक्स एग्जैक्टली द सेम एज द ओरिजिनल फिगर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस डेफिनेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वन एग्जांपल नाउ लेट अस टेक दिस एग्जांपल ऑफ अ डस्टर राइट इफ यू विल सी दिस डस्टर this duster if i'm going to place it here you will see it is of the rectangular form so here it is the original position now i am going to change it or i'm going to rotate it with an angle of 90 degree it was earlier like this now i am rotating it at an angle of 90 degree so now after this position at 90 degree the position of the duster became this after 90 degree now from this again i am going to rotate to 90 degree and it will become like this okay so this will come out to be like this after 90 degree rotation now it was like this again i am going to take it at 90 degree after 90 degree the position came out to be this one after the rotation of 90 degree from here and again when this was the position again i take took and i rotated it at an angle of 90 degree like this it came out to be okay so this was 90 degree here now you will see i started from this point at an angle of 360 degree when i rotated it completely like this it came out at the same position as it was in the starting this is the rotational symmetry now what is order of symmetry in this see first of all uh, let me tell you the angles about it i rotated this at an angle of 90 then 90 after 90 again 90 so how much it is going to be 180 then 180 plus 90 so this is going to be 270 this complete is 270 and after 270 plus 90 this complete is rotated at an angle of 360 because 270 Plus ninety is three sixty, so a rotation is of three sixty degrees. Okay, so now if you are going to talk about the order of this, how you are going to find the order of symmetry of this rotational symmetry? Order this: the number of times the figure coincides with itself in one complete rotation, that is in a rotation of three sixty. Now, if you will see, this is the first position of the figure. This is the first one. After ninety degree, it was not the same. but after 180 degree the position was same so this is one time it was same again after this this was the position which was not same as the first one and again it came out to be the same at second time at an angle of 360 degree so this means during the rotation of 360 degrees the figure was same how many times twice in the rotation of 360 degrees the figure came out to be same how many times twice as the first one so the order will is going to be here how much two this is going to be the order of this right next now let us talk about this the smallest angle with which the figure is rotated in order to coincide with itself now that is going to be called as the angle of rotation angle means by which we have rotated it like for example i rotated it with 90 why i rotated it with 90 because there is a formula behind that and that is 360 divided by n where n is the number of sides now if you will see this figure i am having here how many sides four sides are there so that means i am going to divide 360 by 4 which is going to give me the answer 90 so the angle of rotation of this figure or by which i am going to rotate it is going to be 90 degree so this is order and this is angle of rotation these two concepts we are going to use in this exercise right so there is one note which is a regular polygon of n sides has rotational symmetry of order n and the angle of rotation is given by 360 upon n okay now before starting with the exercise i want to explain you one concept with the help of a bangle circular one let me talk about this circle this circle i have made okay now for example 
this is the one position this is the position which i have rotated at certain angle like this okay earlier this was the position now it came out to be this but can you see even after a small rotation also at a certain angle the image of the circle is still the same as it was in the starting again i can rotate this part till here now if i have rotated this part till here here it came okay and again you can see even after rotating a small part a small angle at a small angle image is still the same again let us see for example the same point now this is the point i am rotating it till here i am rotating it till here okay let us take this point till here see even after rotating it i am getting the same image as it was in the starting so what is the meaning of this this means a circle is going to be same whether you are going to rotate it at any angle at every angle at every small angle it is going to have the same image okay so now on the basis of this i am going to discuss the exercise questions now for this i am going to give you some tricks in this exercise now let us see the first one find whether the following figures have rotational symmetry or not if yes find their order of rotation and angle of rotation now firstly in all of these figures what you are going to do you are going to count the outside one how many are going to be there as many there are going to be that is going to be the order of symmetry now let us check how many these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these total are 16 if these total are 16 that means the order of rotation of this figure is going to be 16 and when you have to find the angle angle is how much 360 upon n n means the number of sides which is how much 16 so 360 upon 16 will give you 22.5 Now let us move to the next one. Let us see this one. Now here are how many sides? One, two, three. This means this angle, this circle. If I am going to rotate, it is going to give me the same image. Okay, but this will come this side, this will come here, and this will come to back side. So how many sides are there now in this circle? Three. So that means what is the order of this circle? Three. So the order of the rotation is three. And what will be the angle of rotation? Three sixty upon three. which is going to give 120 next c part now again in the c part you have to calculate the outside ones how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 outside how many are there 10 so that means the order of this figure is how much 10 and when you have to find the angle angle will be 360 upon 10 which is 36 right now let's do d part in d part you can see how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 so what will be the figure of what is going to be the order of this order of rotation is 5 and the angle is going to be 360 upon 5 which is 72 okay now next question number 2 find the order of rotational symmetry of the following figures now again you just have to tell here what is the order 1 2 3 now when you are going to rotate it it is going to give you the same image okay so now you just have to calculate how many are these this is just the trick by which you are going to solve these questions 1 2 3 so order is going to be 3 how many are there 1 2 3 4 what will be the order 4 how many are there 1 2 3 so the order of this figure is 3 let us count the last 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how many are there 8 so the order of this figure is going to be 8 let us count this one 1 2 3 4 so the order is going to be 4 Okay. Now, similarly, question number three. In question number three, also you have to tell. You are going to tell what is the angle of rotation and what is the order of rotation. Now, again, if you will see how many sides are there, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, what will be the order of this? Six. And what will be the angle? You all know the angle formula, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six in the first part. There are six. So three sixty upon six, which is going to give you sixty. Okay, there are six sides. So angle of rotation, order of rotation is six, and the angle of rotation for this is going to be three sixty upon six, which is going to be sixty degrees. Now see the next B part. In the B part, if you will see how many spikes are there, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
6. So that means how many are going to be there? The order of rotation is going to be how much? 6. And the angle of rotation will be 360 upon 6 which is 60 degrees. Okay. So this was your exercise 14.2. Now let us start the exercise 14.3. In this, there is a combination of all the symmetries. Line symmetry, point symmetry and rotational symmetry. First question is, name a regular polygon. Regular means when all sides are equal. Which has three lines of symmetry. So obviously when three lines of symmetry they are saying, from here only we can conclude a regular is going to be the one in which three sides are going to be there. Whose lines of symmetry are going to be three? One, two and three. So the triangle which is having three lines of symmetry, this will come but since they are talking about the regular polygon, so a triangle whose all sides are equal is called as an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle has the line of symmetry. Okay. Then no point of symmetry. Equilateral triangle does not have the point of symmetry as it does not have the same image when seen upside down. Now if you are going to see this is the equilateral triangle and I am going to form this symmetrical line. If I am going to see the upside down, it is not forming the same image. So that means it is not going to have the point of symmetry. And the last is you have to tell the rotational symmetry of order 3. So yes, an equilateral triangle is going to have, equilateral triangle is having the rotational symmetry of order 3. On the basis of what concept? This. A regular polygon of n sides has rotational symmetry of order n. So here we are, going, we are talking about a regular polygon of 3 sides. That regular polygon is going to have the rotational symmetry of order n which is 3. Okay. So with this concept, this is question number 1. Okay. Now let us move to question number 2. Which of the regular polygons have both point symmetry and rotational symmetry? Justify your answer. Now you have to tell again the regular polygon in which all sides are equal. You have to tell such regular polygons which are those regular polygons which are having the point symmetry also and rotational symmetry also. Now if you are going to see this, a regular polygon with even number of sides has both point symmetry and rotational symmetry. Now if you are going to talk about this square. Square if I am going to talk about the point symmetry. This is the square. If I am going to talk about the upside down, it is going to have the same image. Up also, down also, it is going to have the same image. So yes, a square is having a point symmetry. Similarly, if I am going to talk about the square rotated at an angle of 360 degree, it is going to have the same image every time because it is having all sides equal. Okay. So a square is having four sides. Okay. Four means even number of sides. So a regular polygon with even number of sides has both point symmetry and rotational symmetry. Okay. You just have to drop this much. That's it. Next. But a regular polygon with odd number of sides does not have point symmetry or rotational symmetry. You can here show only one kind of symmetry. Okay. Because they have asked both. But if not even a single symmetry is there, that means there is not going to be both. A regular polygon with odd number of sides. Now, if I am going to take this pentagon. Pentagon means five sides. If I am going to take the point symmetry of this. That means upside down if I am going to see, it is not going to form the same image. So that means a regular polygon with odd number of sides does not have the point and rotational symmetry. You just have to show this with the help of one one example. Okay, and this is your question number two. Now let's move to question number three. Now in this question number three, you have to state the type of symmetries found in the circle. Now in circle... Which which type of symmetries are there? In circle, all type of symmetries are there. Line symmetry is also there. Point symmetry is also there. And rotational symmetry is also there. Now if I am going to talk about the line symmetry. Line symmetry means, see in this, if I am going to draw like this, it is going to overlap. Like this also if I am going to draw from the center, it is going to overlap. This side is also going to overlap. Similarly, any point I will take, it is going to overlap the other side with the other side like this like this it is going to overlap so that means i can make infinite line symmetries so therefore the type of symmetries found in a circle first is line symmetry 
and the question is also mention the number of lines of symmetries order of rotational symmetry and the number of point symmetries now you have to tell how many line symmetries are there in circle how many point symmetries are there and how many rotational symmetries are there the first type of symmetry is line symmetry and the number of line symmetries are infinite next comes point symmetry that means the number of point symmetries is infinite this example i just gave you of rotating this bangle at small small angles at this much angle also if i'm going to take this point from here if i'm going to rotate this at point this much here see still i can get the same image okay so that means i can take as many rotations as i can but i will be getting the same image so here point symmetry is infinite and the next is rotational symmetry the number of rotational symmetry is also infinite as circle looks the same after the rotation by 90 degree 180 degree and 270 degree so this means circle has rotational symmetry of infinite order the same concept of the bangle right so this was your exercise 14.3 which you have to do in the notebook and this question number four you will try by yourself in the book this is to test your knowledge okay so this question number four you will do in the book by yourself in which you have to see the figures and you have to tell that this figure is going to have which which symmetries right thank you